Hi, future strategists. After a great week with our client, I have some advice and some reminders for this week. One, the presentation that the, our client used has been sent out to you guys. It's also located in the file section. Make sure you use that as a ref, frame of reference. Also, other research material is found at the bottom of the project brief. Read through the project brief because that'll tell you everything that you need to follow up on research and document. And I cannot understate uh, the amount of effort it'll take to do research before our first milestone that's due, which is our first presentation that's due in a few weeks. Milestone one and writing log one are due this Sunday. So make sure you're collaborating with your group and understand the group or criteria for writing logs. Again, review that. That's located both in Canvas and the syllabus. In regards to the group charter and milestone one, I cannot underestimate the importance of this. It's I've given some guidelines for you to follow for the group charter, but ultimately it's up to you to create the rules, the guidelines, and what's important for you as a group. This will guide you along this path, which is this hybrid course that you're going to be navigating. So it's important everyone knows their strengths, everyone, know, everyone knows their roles, and you know how and the expectations are for each group member. Every person is expected to contribute through their autobiography, and then there's going to be one document for the whole milestone that needs to be submitted by only one person within the group. If someone is not participating or you've not been able to reach someone, do two things. One, send them an email. Express your concerns. Copy your whole group and say, we as a group have decided that you're not meeting the expectations. We want to work with you. What can we do? We realize life is challenging, but we want you to be in this group and be on this journey with us. Copy Jessica and I on that email and we will follow up. Generally, that helps facilitate the group group work and makes a, a good group dynamics going forward. I need that documentation. So it's not good enough to wait three weeks and say, oh, I send other emails before. I need that documentation now. And if someone continues to not participate or meet the group expectations after you've sent that email, I want you to document on the milestone who contributed and who did not contribute. This will also reflect in when you have to do the group evaluations. I suggest that you be honest and open with your group and this will just create better transparency and allow us to get the work done and better faster. So again, I've given some guidelines for the group charter. Always be working ahead. For the first presentation, there's no set structure. You are to present and do your best to create some sort of narrative and story with the research that you've done. I suggest each one of you dive into the readings that I provided, the presentation that was provided, and remember the notes that you were taking. Go out, do desk research. Do as much research as you can and collaborate within your group and come together to try to come up with a presentation that will be roughly 10 to 12 minutes that you will be presenting the next time we're in class. Again, this class is a marathon and there's many different parts, but I know since many students have gone through this class and have produced great work, you guys will be no different. So again, I'm here on this journey with you and I look forward to reviewing your work and the great work that we'll be creating. Thank you.